Hey guys, this is Eric Binion from artofblog.com. Um, today I want to share with you how to create a one column and a three column layout with the Thesis 2 theme. Um, like many of you, uh, I found that uh, Thesis 2 was pretty, pretty hard to learn at first, uh, but after talking to Chris Pearson and uh, Matt Gross over some barbecue, I decided to give it a second shot. Uh, so today, you know, I decided, hey, let's let's try to first thing get a get a one column layout going, and let's get a three column layout going because by default you have the two column. Um, so today, let me show you that, and in the future we'll work on some other things like responsive theming and things like that. So to start off, uh, how about we just go with the the one column layout? All right, let me minimize this. So a one column layout, what we're going to have is we're going to have the content on top, just like this right here. And then we're going to have the sidebars below. We're going to have the widgets below. Okay, to achieve something like that, we can do most of it actually in the skin editor here. Now to get to the skin editor, let me, let me uh, get back here. For the skin editor, you just go to the, the thesis. Uh, navigation, you go to skins and skin editor. All right. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take the widgets out of the sidebar column where they're at now, and we're just going to add them to the columns, or the, excuse me, the content column. So to do that, you hold shift, click on the text box. You're going to drop it on top of the content column, hit shift again, click on widgets, drop it back up to the content column, boom. Alright, so now the only problem with this is if we were to save this, our widgets now show above the content, which is not what we want. But that's an easy fix, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to bring these down below the previous next links. We can then save it again. Wait for it to pop up. There we go. So if we scroll down, cool, it's there. The only problem is we have all this space off to the side where the sidebar used to be. We need to kind of reclaim that for the single column layout. So to do that, we're going to jump over in the CSS editor. We're going to click on the CSS, the column package, excuse me. Uh, we're going to go to options. There is no option to drop it to one column, unfortunately. But it's still an easy fix. If you uh, expand the column one, and if you make it 900 pixels, and then default alignment, what this do, what, this will make the content fill up the whole container. All right, And then we're also going to jump in here to additional CSS and get rid of this background. This background is what creates this line that separates the content and the sidebar. Since the, the sidebar is now below the content, that's not an issue at all. All right, so we save. That loads. And so now we have a basic one column layout. And it took all of three to five minutes, maybe. Um, obviously, you would want to come in here and add your own CSS to style this. Um, you could put the the widgets side by side down here if you wanted. Um, that's definitely an option. That's something we can cover later on if you want. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and set up to do a three column layout. So let's restore the default layout. All right, let's wait for this. All right, let's move this bad boy back over. All right, so we have our basic two column layout again. All right, so the difference between the one column layout and the three column layout is to achieve the three column, we're actually gonna have to add a second sidebar. Uh, so to do that, let's drop down here to the add boxes. Let's add a container box. I will call this sidebar 2. Let's add it. 
Again, you gotta hold shift and drag it onto the columns. All right, once it's in there, we can reposition it below the other sidebar column. Um, let's go ahead and name this. Let's give it class of sidebar two. You, I did that by clicking the this little widget icon, and then you come to the HTML class, sidebar two. Uh, and let's go ahead and add one widget. Sidebar to widget. This is just so we have something to fill the box. All right, it's created, shift, click, and then drag it over to sidebar two. All right, boom, easy enough, right? All right, so save the template. All right, here's the thing. So we still have only a two column layout. What's happening is this second sidebar is loading within the first sidebar. Um, but that's a problem we can fix with CSS. So to do that, jump over to the CSS editor. Again, we're coming right back to the columns package. Hit it again. All right. Options. Let's go to three columns. Um, column two, column three, column one. Let me see what settings I used. The other thing to note here is that all three columns, or actually, by, by default, the whole container is 900 pixels. So anything you put in there has to be less than 900 pixels. So to do that, we're going to use 480 on column one. We're going to use and 209 on both the sidebar columns. We're going to change this. Uh, column 2 to left aligned, and we're going to do 209 here. And then we need to copy the padding from uh, column 2. We need to copy that padding into column 3. So that was single half half. And Let's get rid of the additional CSS. We don't want that border. All right. So as you see, this gives us a basic three column layout.